in large part because they see on TV, whether it's the men or the women, that they're making every putt inside of eight feet and they're not missing fairways and they're hitting 15 greens around. And they have a big misconception on what golf is. They don't see the, the players struggling to make the cut that are one over and hitting it crooked. And then they get this uh, idea that they have to play perfect golf and then they, they get in their own way. That's a big disservice to people. And I tell all my folks, look at if you played your best golf every time, we'd call it your average. You know, and Tiger Woods said maybe three times a year he plays his best golf. I try to get these folks to know this kind of business. Uh, and really what I, I'm trying to get them to understand is, look, since your B game and C game are going to show up, your B game is going to show up way more often than your A game. Your C game is going to show up as often or more often than your A game. How about this? Let's learn how to not be so damn surprised by that. You know, how to not be put off by that, but go, okay, so a job as golfer, what, what's golf? Take the stick, hit the ball to the hole, right? And just keep taking the stick and hit the ball to the hole as few times as you can that day. That's our definition of compete. Do the best you can with whatever you have that day, and regardless of the number, which is, you know, which is not that easy to do. But then you have to keep coming back to what's what's the nature of the game? Just hit the freaking ball. Mm -hmm. But people are so caught up in posting their Instagram results and, you know, the social media and the parents. And, you know, I'll tell you what, the heartbreaking thing when I'm when I'm at tournaments with my daughter, I've been to a bunch of them, which is a, a, a riot. I do a lot of this, you know, even if she makes a, a horrible mistake and she makes a nice putt, good putt. Mm -hmm. But I see the kids looking over their shoulder to see dad's reaction to their bad shot. And it's a, uh, this tough sport, man. It's a, it's a tough sport when though the idea is this at its nature. If you think that struggle is not coming, you have a real problem. Okay. Now, if you're trying to avoid problems out there trying to not make mistakes how do you play freely if you can explain that to me i'll take it but if you're out there just and i, I tell my own daughter just give it hell kid and we'll cry later if necessary mm -hmm. but during the time just go hit it i want free aggressive swings smart targets i know you had scott on there i'm a, I'm a fan of decade golf but i want people to go look at if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging right. instead of going down, try to try to not make errors. Cause that is just for one, for why do you play games again? Fun. Now I, I, I Peter, I'm Peter, I'm gonna give you a problem here. You turned pro like I turned pro and I went and played, uh, I would played mini tours for two years. Sucked. Mm -hmm. I had no clue. Hit the ball. Good. <laughs> no clue. But Peter, the second you turned pro, you made it a job instead of a game. Yes or no? Yes, absolutely. Right? Well, you just lost your soul. Right? And if you could just remember why you play. And if you go back to the original, you don't play because you're good at it. Because you sucked when you started. Right? But you were fascinated by it. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to call that the beginner's mind. Right? Where you're just soaking it all in, brother. And then you get all of a sudden you turn into an expert mind, right? I think there's Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind is a book I read back when you was a baby. Well, once you get into the expert mind where you know, right? Now you're in trouble. Now you're in, now you're in for a world of pain from golf. I, I think it's a very, very big deal for us to understand it, the longer or if you can keep yourself in Nope, I'm still learning. We got a real good chance at this. I'll tell you what, I'm a huge fan of Tony Finau. Never met him. Ne never met him. But uh, what did he say? A winner's just a failure that keeps trying. Mm -hmm. Right? People need to hear that. Like that, that, that message is what needs to be shown on all the social media, internet, and all that good stuff. That's the message we need, not a message of your freaking highlight reel. Because we're, and that's what they do on the PGA Tour telecast, right? 
it, they show a highlight reel, except for uh, poor Mr. Willett last weekend. Oh, that was – I didn't believe it. I don't think anybody didn't, did. Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. You know, maybe he forgot. You know, you know okay, wait a minute. I have to make this putt. Yes, to win. I got a putt to win. Now, timeout. <laughs> you can't go into that putt thinking that, I don't think. Maybe it's okay. I'm just going to put it right there at this bottom of the cup speed, something like that. Maybe he he got himself in the enormity of the situation, the big picture, instead of, okay, wait, picture's too big. I got to bring this down to something I can manage. I don't know that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, uh, I didn't check if, if he was interviewed or not, but I'd like to see that if he was. Wild game. It's, a, it's do, some do, kind of game. Do you think that it, if you use those two comparisons, and, and I, I, I really hope, I mean, Danny, I don't know him. I, I know some people that know him and say he's a very good guy, and I, I really hope that at some point that whatever he learns from that, 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 it, that he's able to capitalize on that, be it in a major or a, a WGC or, or one of the, you know, Arnold Palmer or some big event. But do, do you think that one of the things that, that Tiger was so phenomenal at was the ability to to remove the situation he was in and go back into that process of, and, and I and I only say that because he was very uh, forthcoming in that putt that he made on the 18th at Torrey Pines at the U.S. Open to get into the playoff. Remember, he said he talked about you know go, going through his process, focusing on the task at hand, and really uh, not allowing the the, the magnitude of the situation to to cloud his his mind and it just to me every time that he seemed to be in a big situation he would revert back to that so he had i think his dad 